Thumbs. About to drop off my nine by max, I think. We'll see. Oh, he's slowing down. Yep, yep. This should be my nine by max, ladies and gentlemen. My nine by max scooter. I was able to uh, swap a motorcycle. <coughs> scooter I have, I was able to sell it to get this. <coughs> so I might just be going all e vehicle. <coughs> this young man is about in the process of getting my scooter out of the back of his truck. We'll see what happens. <coughs> Hopefully the box isn't too beat up. We'll about to see in a second. Of course he doesn't know I'm filming. <laughs> <coughs> but yeah, yeah, yeah. Nine bot max. Been trying to get one for a while. Been trying to trade some motorcycle stuff to get one. And people on Facebook Marketplace offering to trade this to get that. And... I was finally able to pull it off. Didn't take too long though. It's always somebody out there looking for an old Honda scooter. There it is, the 9 by Max. What's up, Chief? What's up, bro? Okay. All right, thank you. Thank you. All right, have a great one. You don't need me to sign nothing, do you? All right, thank you, sir. Man, it's nice out here. There it is in all its glory, ladies and gentlemen. The nine bot max scooter. Nice box. Very nice box. Too bad I don't have time to mess around with it and open it, but uh whoop, there it is. The box is very nicely packaged, which is good. So this is the one. This is probably my last this would be my last scooter right here. Probably well, I can't say that. Uh Sometimes you get a scooter for different applications, but I think this one will probably make me feel pretty satisfied as far as uh, oh, what it's able to do. You got a little weight on it. Oh, there it is, ladies and gentlemen. The nine volt Max scooter. And I'm selling this one right here to a young friend of mine. That actually helps pay for this. It was already paid for by the sale of the, of the motorcycle, but I can get some money back because I don't need this one anymore. So, yeah, that's what's going on. All right, so you gotta do that. I'm not gonna do an unboxing. You guys have seen all that before. But this box looks different from the normal box that uh, I've seen the nine box Max shipped in. So we'll see what happens. All right, all right, guys. Of course, I'm going to do a review on it, a range test, and all that other kind of stuff, but that I have to wait because I got to go to work. I got to go to work. So I'll be doing all those tests on it. Um, I know there's tons of reviews on it, but I want to see if I can actually get 40 miles off of this thing. Uh, again, uh, you know, I'm kind of, I think, different. Than a lot of most people that ride scooters and stuff, they're into speed and going 18 to 20 miles an hour. I mean, uh, 25 to 30 miles an hour, 40 miles an hour on these scooters is very dangerous. I'm not into that at all. I'm more into trying to stay alive and be safe on these things because you can override, override the wheel size very easily. It's just like if you have a dim headlight, right? If you're on a bicycle and you have a dim headlight, you don't have that many lumens. You know, so you're on a pedal bicycle and, you know, uh, to stay safe on that pedal bicycle, you would need to, you know, drop your speed, go slower. Why? Because you don't have as many lumens or the light isn't as bright. So, you know, it's like getting on a bicycle with a dim headlight, but you're going to try to pedal 20 miles an hour. You know, that doesn't make a lot of sense. You, you can die like that because you can override the brightness of the light. Whereas if you go slower... That little bit of light, it enables you to see, uh, you know, a, a small diameter around you, but at least you can see. There's no sense in overriding that, you know, same thing for tires. If you got small tires, uh, little 10 inch tires like this, and you're trying to do 30, 40 miles an hour, and you're at a crack in the road, man, you can die real easy. So I'm not into that. So 
going slow as me. I'm very happy with 18 mile an hour, uh, and, and I'm very happy with uh, the reviews that I've seen on this, but I'm going to have to review it for myself, uh, and I'll give you the pros and cons, what I think uh, about this scooter. And this is, uh, this, is, uh, is, uh, this is the one I've been wanting. I've been doing a lot of reviews. You know, I was looking at the E-Move Cruiser, but I didn't have no money, enough money to get that. So, And the only reason I would get the E-Move Cruiser over this is just because of the range. And the deck size is a bit, it's, just a, it's a bit bigger, but I can, uh, this scooter here, I'll be able to add a uh, external battery to it, like uh, an 8 amp hour battery to get me a confident 40 miles at higher speeds or even 50. So those are some of my plans just to simply add uh, an, an external battery pack. And I've already got the battery packs. So I use them on other vehicles. So that'll help me get that longer range even better. But I want to do it without jacking up anything, without voiding my warranty. So we'll see. All right, guys. I'm going to cut the video short because i got to get, a, get ready for work. There it is. You guys saw it live. The UPS guy dropped off my 9 by max scooter. And uh, there you go. We'll see what happens in the next couple days. Peace.